awesome. As a fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, this movie is an abomination. The animation is trash. It looks like someone did water painting and then smudged every frame of the movie. I don't know if they wanted it to look like stop motion animation, but it comes off more like cheap paper mache. With each iteration of the turtles, I find them to be more and more insufferable. I chalk that up to me being get off my lawn old man, I guess. Get off my lawn. I get keeping them updated, but trying to make them likable? The turtles steal stuff from stores. Not exactly a horror thing to do, but that passes a good morality these days. Also, I don't need to see the turtles taking toilet paper. Think of the turtles pooping is it on my list of need to know stuff. Most of the dialogue is skull crushingly cringe. Not just from the turtles, but all the characters. Usually full of pop culture references, which already date the movie. It doesn't help when all four turtles basically have the same personality, too. The voice acting isn't that good all around. At least with the turtles, they got actual teenagers to play the parts. Two of the kids have done voice work before, which is nice. I'm tired of movies having regular actors doing voice work in movies when there's plenty of great voice actors out there. Speaking of actors doing voice work, Jackie Chan is Splinter. He's probably the worst choice. He still barely can speak English, and we're forced to listen to him. The way he sounds with marbles in his mouth doesn't match Splinter's animation at all. It completely pulls me out of the movie every time he speaks. It lets me know someone's standing in a soundproof room, talking to the mic, reading a paper. Basically what I'm doing right now. At least Seth Rogen is hardly in this and toned down. I figured we'd hear his annoying laugh through the whole movie. John Cena, well... He's John Cena. He's a communist Chinese sympathizer, so who cares? He's completely useless. The movie tells us once again about the origins of the turtles. We get it. Stop explaining it to us with every movie. Also, it doesn't make sense. Splinter waits until they're 15 to explain it to them? He didn't think to do this beforehand? They didn't ask until now? It comes out of nowhere. I chalk it up to lazy writing. Gotta make it so we know all about how they were in ooze and grew up into mutant turtles. Take a note from Spider-Man. Don't explain it to us anymore. Also, we get another shorter version of the same thing when the turtles meet April. They should have just saved the origin story of the turtles for that moment. To be fair though, the movie also gives us a backstory to April throwing up on camera. So at least it's consistent with its padding runtime. Lastly, it's ironic that they race swapped April O'Neil and made her fat, but left Baxter Stockman black like he originally was in the comics. But he was race swapped to white in the cartoon. Typical race swapping hypocrisy from Hollywood. Most notably when a major message of the movie is to accept people the way they are. The movie's complete trash. I give it one out of five stars.